you know that this is one of three hands-on schools projects we're going to do here. We're going to redo the front today. We're going to redo the center uh, enclosed play area. And then we're going to build some teaching and counseling space. These are really our major three projects. My name is Diane Cody and I'm the principal of Kelvis Magnet School here in Niagara Falls. So our mission is to ensure that all students leave Kelvis Magnet School ready to go into the prep school without remediation. We also have a mission and an objective to reduce racial isolation and are committed to our population mirroring the population of Niagara Falls. Schools need to be a safe haven for students. They need to feel comfortable in the environment that they're in. We try to create a culture for learning that's comfortable, nurturing, and in, in all ways um, helps to engage students in, in actual learning. And the better the environment around them, the more apt they are to focus and commit to their learning and commit to the school. Antoine Thompson, State Senator, 60th District. We have to create a, an ideal learning environment, one that's clean, that's safe, where kids don't feel that they have a subpar uh, learning uh, conditions in the learning environment. And we also got to make sure there's lots of interest by that student, by the community and their families, and also by the ones that are teaching them and providing the uh, supportive services as well. I'm Assemblywoman Francine Del Monte. Uh, what's happening here today at the Calpa School with these young people who are standing next to me is making a much more attractive entranceway so that when they're dropped off to school either by walking or by the bus they're, they're experiencing a nice environment immediately when they step foot on school property and then when they enter into the doors with the other projects that AmeriCorps is doing they'll find themselves in better equipped facilities and they'll have access to a nicer playground space and uh, teaching rooms that currently are not part of the school building. Planting daffodils. Really? That look like onion. I'm Paul Deister and I'm the mayor of the city of Niagara Falls. Yeah, I think it's very difficult to tell kids that learning is the most important thing in their lives and that it's a high priority for society that they continue their education and continue to learn. Uh, if then they look around and they see that we haven't been putting the resources into maintaining the infrastructure where they have to live their lives every day. And you don't want a situation where kids have to put up with conditions uh, at their schools that we wouldn't put up with in our homes or we wouldn't put up with in the workplace. And study after study done by educators have shown that a positive environment, bright, cheerful, so, uh, positive surroundings increase kids' ability to pay attention, increase kids' ability to learn. So it's not just something that's for the aesthetics. I think it shows the respect that we have for the institution and it creates an environment within which it's easier for kids to learn. The spirit that AmeriCorps has, that Home Depot has, that I knew that this would uh, be a great, great site. So I want to commend you for this. And uh, Mark, you know, we'll work on another school in Buffalo. Um, take care of that. No, today. Today. It'll be done today. Uh, my name is Robert. I work at uh, Home Depot in Niagara Falls. And um, I've been working here for a couple years, and it's, it's really great to finally get something going on in Niagara Falls. This is our community. This is the community of the place that we work. Um, and we're glad to be out here. Thank you for having us. And once it's all said and done, it should be a real great difference done in this school. Thank you. I think this is another perfect example of a public-private partnership with Home Depot to bring uh, the resources and then uh, forward uh, the, um, the volunteers through Western New York AmeriCorps to make a school that's already good better. And uh, so this, the stuff that's happening out here is important, not just in terms of beautifying the school, but in terms of setting a standard for all our public uh, buildings to try to become more environmentally uh, uh, friendly. If I have time, I could run home and put on a pair of shorts and some sneakers if you need a little digging power. <laughs> on behalf of the Board of Education, we really want to thank Mark and Home Depot and all the other volunteers for this work. And we're looking forward on the 25th to helping out, out with the playground in the back. Thank you. Again, we encourage you September 25th. We'll be doing our second hands-on schools project here at Calfis. On behalf of Liz Holton from the Home Depot and myself, thank you and have a great day.